Crowder College showcases its new digital dissection table. This is KOAM News at 6. I'm Tanya Bach. The anatomage table is a digital cadaver lab that uses images from real human bodies. KOAM's Fernanda Silva was there and shows us how it works. Now, viewers should be advised this story features detailed medical procedures. There has been a lot of uh, oohs and ahs and a lot of the gasp, and uh, it's really been exciting. The reason for all the reactions in Crowder College is their new anatomage table. The two is a digital cadaver lab that uses images from real human bodies. Uh, Victor was 33 years old at the time of his death and died of leukemia. So when we look at his anatomy, we can see the pathology that's there. Uh, liver ha uh, Victor has an enlarged liver, an enlarged spleen, and enlarged lymph nodes. Uh, due to the stage of leukemia that he was at at the time of his death. I love that they have not just one body you can look at, and they are actual people that donated their body to science. It's not just an AI-generated situation. It's a real person um, with a real cause of death. A detailed image was taken every half a millimeter along each of the five cadavers available in the two, including Victor's, allowing 3D visualization of the entire body. Man, it is, it is mind-blowing. I mean, it, even from a perspective of somebody who's not interested in science, essentially, this is something that's just amazing from a technology standpoint, but even from and from a uh, instructional standpoint, it's just it's it's a game changer. Students will have the opportunity to study uh, every organ system of the human body, and using the anatomosh table, students will get back there and they will do a up close and personal invasive examination of every organ system. In Pineville, Fernanda Silva, KOAM News. Roughly 100 students will have the opportunity to learn using the tool every semester. Now the plan is to also partner with McDonald County High School.